Hey guys, my name is Daniel and today I'm going to talk about the new macOS 26 Tahoe beta update. I've been trying out this new update for the past month or so. Let's talk about the big changes first. The first one is the obvious one, liquid glass. I'm personally not a big fan of this. I liked the flat boring design way more than this transparent design. I think it makes the design feel a bit cheap and it's so much worse for accessibility. Like reading stuff sometimes is pretty hard. So yeah, not a big fan. But after using it for a month, you get used to it. What's also new is that you can change your icon and widget style. Uh, I personally like to have it on default in combination with the light mode, but you can choose it to set it to a dark mode, which you can see here, then all your icons become dark while having the light theme. You can also set them to clear, and if you really want, you can set them to tinted. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Like I said, I'm just a big fan of the default setting, um, but some people like the dark mode. Um, I don't know. I don't understand why, but everyone has his preferences. If you want, you can even choose the tinted theme and you can choose your own color. So for example, if you want the tinted colors to be red, you can set them to red or any color that you want. So you can customize your own settings in the macOS nowadays. I've never thought I would be able to say that, but it's possible now. Now they also made some changes to the finder window. Uh, as you can see here on the left in the sidebar, they made the corners a bit more rounded and elevated uh, next to your folder window. Um, and what's also new is that you can now color your folders. Uh, and along with those colors, you can give them an icon or an emoji in order to like separate your folders even further uh, and keep your folders organized. Uh, I've tried it a little bit, but it tends to get messy when you're overdoing it, so I try to keep it just as minimal as possible. Now lastly, this isn't really an update, but of course with the new macOS beta comes a new wallpaper. Uh, I personally use the Big Sur. Uh, I like the old ones way better than this one, but I thought it was just worth mentioning. So let's talk about the second big thing, and that is Spotlight. And Spotlight got a big update, uh, which I'm a big fan of, because Spotlight now uh, enables you to switch between these modes, like Command 1 is Applications, Command 2 is Files, Command 3 is Actions, and Command 4 is actually an interesting one, uh, especially as a developer. Uh, it enables you to view your clipboard history up to 8 hours, uh, which is very convenient when you have a lot of stuff you want to copy, uh, but you accidentally copied something else, uh, now you don't have to worry about that anymore. You can even set uh, some quick keys into your spotlight uh, for those actions. Now I personally don't use actions that much, so I haven't much experience with this, but I can see why people are using this. Um, yeah. Now another thing that's updated about spotlight is that it's primarily used to open apps now, since they removed Launchpad like I said before. Um, now, I've been opening apps through Spotlight in the past before, but now it's updated to even do that better. Because in the past, I experienced some trouble sometime with opening apps. It wouldn't recognize it or it wouldn't find it, but now it works perfectly fine. Third big major update is the control center and the widgets panel. Now, what this update basically does is that it lets you customize your control center just like on your iPhone. Uh, for example, you can add a quick control to your control center to make a quick memo, um, which is really convenient if you want to make a quick memo on your laptop or you want to just want to record yourself or just an idea. I think this can be very useful if you customize it to your personal needs uh, and add some features that you use on a regular basis. But personally, I just prefer to use my short keys on my keyboard anyway, so I don't think I will be using this control center feature as much. Now, I believe the widget panel got also a small update. Um, I believe when you change the theme to like a tinted version, uh, they change the colors with it. Um, and also when you go back to your desktop view, like Command D, uh, you can add some widgets over there as well. Now, I personally don't use control center that much, um, so for me, this update doesn't really have a big impact. And also I'm not a big user of the widget panel, um, but who knows, maybe it will come with this update. Um, 
but honestly for the past four weeks i haven't used it much so i don't think i will use it that much what is also worth mentioning is that you can now fully customize your menu bar at the top of your screen uh, it's fully transparent right now uh, you can choose to turn on the background bar if you want uh, I tend to leave it off uh, because I like this transparency. What's also really nice is that you can now choose which icons sh should be visible or not, uh, which makes your menu bar a lot more clear and clean. And this is an update I don't think it's talked about much, but I think this is one of my personal favorites, and that is the window separator. Um, before I had to use this third-party program called Rectangle to resize and divide my windows across my screen. Now it's integrated into macOS. I don't know why it's taken so long before this was integrated, but it's a massive, massive quality of life thing for me. Because when I'm coding, I have my code on one side and my pre view on one side and not having this feature just sucks i don't know why it's not a general thing i mean windows pcs have this for ages and now finally mac has it too um so yeah definitely happy with this update now i don't know if this has anything to do with the new update but it's a better version so it might be uh, but my performance of my macbook went straight down what I noticed a lot was that my memory was using a lot, like 12 gigs out of 16. I know 16 is not a lot anymore in 2025, but 12 out of 16 in idle when I just restarted my laptop is crazy. Maybe you guys know the answer to this in the comments down below. If you do, let me know because my laptop went straight downhill after this update. So overall, quite a big fan of the new update. Uh, I'm not a big fan on the liquid glass though. Um, I think it's a bit too transparent, but I heard they were going to change that a little bit because of accessibility as well. But other than that, the spotlight update and the window divider, I'm a big fan. Uh, the control center and the widget panel, I don't use that much, so I'll let you know in the future if I changed my mind. But I'm curious what this update will bring when it comes out in public. Uh, so yeah, these are my thoughts on the new macOS 26 Tahoe update. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.